So you have always been business minded, but yeah. did you ever think you were going to go into politics? No, no. I mean, I was just a fan of uh, politics. Mm. I mean, when I was in, I've been class prefect, I've been class monitor, all those mm. things. I mean, and that's the political exactly. Case. Even in KNUST, I mean, you occupy one thing, I've been a member of the SRC and those things. But politics as a as it is now, yeah. no, no, I never invested yet. So what happened? Well, I mean, I always support uh, the political party that I, I, I believe in. I've been a police agent before, I've been a branch executive. So anytime they are doing things, I support. Then a friend in 1996 yeah. became the candidate for NDC in a very bizarre way. Mm. Because they have gone for primaries. They elected Dr. Golo. Your water. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I've elected Dr. Golo. Mm. Then uh, people came gang up and said, oh, no, 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 I've got our community. They want a Muslim. Okay. okay. And then the late President Rawlings brought Dr. Golo and said, oh, look, this is a challenge. So we wanted to, even though we won the premise, we want to change the candidate. Then Dr. Golo said, oh, okay, I agree. But all those that contested me and lost, I don't want any of them. Mm -hmm. If they can get a Zongo boy who is graduate, I will let go for him. But I won't allow non-graduates who mm -hmm. have contested me and the people have voted me yeah. to replace me. Mm -hmm. So the search started. And then my friend Musa Ahmed mm -hmm. was picked. So because of him, and then said, I got closer yeah. mm -hmm. to support a friend so that he can win. Unfortunately, he won. Mm -hmm. And then I said, he came to parliament. Mm -hmm. By 2000, because maybe apparently he hasn't really planned it and gone through primaries and those yeah. things, he had become so unpopular. Mm. Mm. He couldn't soak the pressure. So, but you know that time, NDC uh, candidates are announced from Accra. Yeah, <laughs> his name was announced again mm -hmm. for the 2000 election, mm -hmm. and then he stood and unfortunately we lost. Yeah, mm. so we lost the seat to MPP, Dr. Bafu Boni. Mm -hmm. And now he left for America. But because I assisted him in the mm. 96 and the 2000, yeah. then it's like any time the party needed anything, they would come to me. Then I would just assist. Mm. Then there was this idea, no, you have to stand. I said, oh, no, I'm not interested. Get anybody and I'll support that yeah. person. Then Dr. Jibur Imed, who was a very good man, philanthropist, mm. was assisting a lot in the community. He, he emerged and through support, I thought I became his campaign manager. Mm. So we have to do, try to correct the mistakes of Musa Ahmed yeah. through the campaign. Mm. We did all those things and fortunately he won. Mm -hmm. He came to parliament and he did 39 days and died. Yeah, wow. that was unfortunate. That was terrible, yeah. 2005, I remember that. That yeah. was so shocking to all of us. Okay. Now NDC have lost the 2004 election. Mm -hmm. Our, our MP had come to Parliament and had done only 39 days. He yes. died in February. Oh. And now they needed a candidate that the party would not have to spend so much money. Yeah. And everybody is pointing at me. And I kept running away. <laughs> and I mean, I, just, I finished my master's. Remember I told you yeah. that last yeah. I was in school, 2004. I finished yeah. my master's. I was doing very well in the Coco uh, and uh, Lance's Bank Company, mm -hmm. Bio Limited. I mean, I was there. Head of research monitoring evaluation, okay. the operations manager. So I, I, I said, no, no, I can't do it. Just get anybody. I'll support. No, yeah. Don't worry. Get anybody. Then I remember the speaker today. So yeah. I remember I when he became day. when he became speaker. Mm. Then he was talking. I said, no. I'm only paying back what you mm. did for me. So that explains that your lights. moves. Yeah. That, we'll come to that moves later. So, I, so it means your, your relationship yeah. goes way exactly. back. Yeah. So it, yeah. it explains why you would have to defend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And drove to my house. Spoke to my mother. In Kumase? Yes. Look, we want your son to stand by. He came with the then regional imam. Mm. And, and if there's one person I don't joke with in my life, it's my mother. Mm. Mm. Then my mother got upset. Is she still around? She's still alive. Great. And she's, she's the queen. Oh. She's our queen. Great. You small boy, all these big guys are coming and you are saying yeah. you won't What do you think you are? <laughs> Who do you think you are? My friend. What kind of rubbish is this? Yeah. <laughs> Better go and tell them you stand. <laughs> <laughs> go and do that thing. So I then said, okay, my mother is putting pressure. 
can we have a deal? Mm. Then Baba said, what is it? He said, look, I will go for one term. So that the one term, you use it to prepare yes. and get Someone a candidate. Else. And then I'll wash my hand. Yeah. So no problem. I'm still doing the one term. Yeah. I'm still doing the one term. <laughs> <laughs> still doing the one term. Yeah. So, so, so I mean, how have you, are you some, changer. you know, some special child? Because you now, you yeah. were born with some yeah, yeah, special yeah. things and you are here now. No, I mean, I do things with my heart. Mm. Okay. Yes. And mm. because I did planning, maybe, I would say it's by his grace. It's by God's grace. He, I mean, when... I'm a Muslim, and my belief is that when Allah wishes you for something, He gives you the understanding, the wisdom to go around it, yeah. then you become successful. Mm. So right from the day I entered Parliament, I had clearly, clear, clear on my mind, I was not here to serve myself. Okay. I was here to serve people. Because let me tell you, I was earning that time around say 150 today, like 1.5 million. Okay. And when I came to Parliament and I saw the pay slip, then it was like 57. Mm -hmm. That's 570 cities. Yeah. yeah. That's almost one third of what I was earning and, before I came mm -hmm. to Parliament. So right from the word go, I knew I was, in terms of finances, I was in trouble. Yeah. So the only thing left is the service. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I asked myself, in 10 years, how do I want my consensus to look like? Yeah. We were last in everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, where I live in my consensus now, Bobby, didn't have light. Okay. Didn't have water. Mm. Parkoso didn't have light. Part of us, a common point, didn't have light. There were a lot of, we didn't come as yeah. We didn't even have electricity. After the root, I mean, we were like the forgotten part of Kumasi. Yeah. Because, excuse me to say, people say that they just largely slump and purely Zongo people yeah. with all the challenges of crime yeah. and all the difficulties, school dropout. I mean, I can bet you there were times that if you were in a doom and you want to pick a taxi driver after 6 p.m. and say, oh, I'm going to Ababo, he won't go. No. Yeah. Oh, this place is... So with all this other background, and if 10 people came to me as a then their MP seeking assistance, eight of them would be talking about themselves. Mm. You hardly get people come to you talk about their children's education. Yeah. Okay. So, and I always tell people, I mean, when people go and see the infrastructure and they say, oh, you've done well. I say, well, with all humility, my biggest success is managing to change the mindset of my people okay. to prioritize education. Mm. Today, if I sit in the office and 10 people come, I can bet you nine are coming to talk about how to better their children's education. education. Wow. wow. And for me, Succeeding in changing their mindset mm. to prioritize education above any other thing is one of my biggest success. If mm. today I cease to be their MP, one thing that I can look back and say, I thank God that I've been able to do successfully, is that every child in my constituency go to school now. Mm. So, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy because today I have so many doctors that I can point, oh, I encourage him to go to school, yeah. I give him scholarship, to finish SS, today is a medical doctor. Mm. And you see that many of them come back to the community yeah. to do community yeah. engagement and yeah. that. And that, that, that's very fulfilling for, yeah. for, for, for me. And it's a great legacy that you sure. are leaving for your people. Yeah. 